So this is how I see it now. Let's say you're really upset. And I feel that maybe I have contributed to you being upset. Then something happens within me emotionally. I may feel guilty. I may feel ashamed. I may feel sorry. I may feel, ah, oh, yeah, maybe I overdid it. So my movie in my own head and the self-talk goes on and on and on. When I can stop taking it personally, then I just observe, okay, so she's in a particular mood today. And then it is almost like arriving at a dead end. So it takes two to be a drama queen. Yeah, right. Because one person has to buy into it. <laughs> yeah, and I think that is a good way to put it. Well, <laughs> yes, or start playing in this dynamic. So yeah. what is your goal with having this as a topic? drama queens? I think my goal is for people to have some self-awareness around how they act and behave because I don't know that those that are drama queens always realize that is what they were doing, perhaps because they've always just been that way or whoever has been around them has bought into it and so it's played out as a dynamic. And I think one of our biggest goals with this podcast is self-awareness mm. and realising that we do need to look inwards and really be honest with ourselves about the way we act and behave in order to grow as a person. In order to do that, the first step is self-awareness. When I'm not even aware that I'm having the tendency to behave more likely like a drama queen or the so-called drama queen or be seen as the drama queen, then when I'm not aware of it, then there's nothing to look at. Yes, exactly. So how do we do that? How do we help people take this self-inventory and go, is my behavior over the top? Or is this a way for me to get some attention that I feel like I'm lacking in my life? How do we get them to take that self-inventory if they're not aware in the first place? When they're not aware, I don't believe that there's anything we can do. The person who is bothered by those who are not aware, we can help them because they're already aware that there's something that bothers me. The person who thinks they're doing everything correctly and they behave just like fantastic, phenomenal superwoman or superman, they have no point of attachment to our conversation. They cannot grasp it because they have that self-belief and probably they're convinced that nothing's wrong. So who is bothered? They're not bothered. They just do what they always do. But let's say you are bothered. <laughs> Then who has the problem? <laughs> Yeah, so now it comes down to how we react or respond to others. Mm -hmm. I believe in order to change the own behavior of being a drama queen, more or less, is being bothered by a drama queen, more or less. Because when I see it in the outside that it bothers me, that is when I then can become aware of what's going on within me. When it doesn't bother me, when you meet two drama queens and they're just in their own dynamics, they just think it's wonderful. And then they just drama around and drama some more. You see, so it's not their problem, actually. It's us who believe it is a problem. You see, there is a little bit of a turn in events here when we change our perspective. It is an interesting conversation and dynamic. And I know that personally, when I observe drama queens... I come back to what you've taught me and go, well, is this life or death? <laughs> <laughs> Good one. <laughs> yeah. And that certainly puts it in perspective for me.